actually would have preferred not to do a statement at all. I didn't have a message, you know. So the only thing I could think of to write was kind of a little bit of what makes me tick. Um, so for me, that's just the cross-sensory, the, the synesthetic experience. It's pretty common among artists and musicians, and some of the time I think people just convince themselves they develop it over time. For me, the first time I knew I had it was when the texture with music, because I would be riding in my dad's truck, um, and whatever music he would have on, I would just feel it is either very rough or very, very cold or very, very hot. I like the feel of the gallery and I like the space. I love interesting architectural spaces because um, I tend to think of everything in terms of shape and fit. I write for a living and I'm always thinking of words as like flavors and I always think of music on my way to and from work as like color or texture. I can like feel it on my skin. Um, and painting is kind of a similar experience where the color is just a, it's like a feeling in the back of my head. I can't tell people what that is, you know, I can't put that in a statement. I can't envision trying to paint the feeling of a piece of music on something that's about the size of my hand. I think the more that I learned about the way I enjoy painting, the bigger I wanted to work because I realized it was very process oriented and I needed it to be something very physical. I remember the first time I had a really large canvas, it was about six feet square and I didn't have any brushes, I just had a palette knife on me, and I said, you know, this is just gonna be fun. And I started just tearing away at that thing, and I never stopped doing it that way. I got used to having this full-bodied experience every time I got to paint, and it seemed to work well with what I was trying to respond to. It's my way of responding to the world. It's never been so much about trying to make a statement. I just want people to take a second and look at a wall and be happy with what their eyes are absorbing. It's pretty simple. 